हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल थिंक डिफरेंट दिस इज छत्रिय वर्मन टुडे इन आर चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द ट्रांसपोर्टिंग सिस्टम इन ह्यूमेंस सो विदाउट डिलेइंग लेट्स गो इनटू द वीडियो बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल टू गेट आवर नोटिफिकेशंस रेगुलरली ओके नाउ लेट्स गो इनटू द वीडियो फर्स्ट लेट अस सी अबाउट द ह्यूमन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम see i have given a image here this is the whole image of human uh, circulatory system the parts are labeled out heart heart is the center part which is red dark red in color and this is vein vein are in blue color that are veins and artery that are red in color is called artery these are these are the blood circulatory system parts now let's go into the uh, definition of blood circulatory system circulatory system is nothing but transporting system of human body uh, for example plants also transport water and minerals from roots to other parts such as circulatory system mean transporting blood uh, transporting blood from the heart to may uh, all parts of the body such uh, it supplies also food water oxygen and other substances throughout the body for example if we see blood blood also we, uh, from heart the veins and artery takes and goes to other parts like that even food water oxygen and other substances also they take through artery and vein and transport it to another parts of body that's all circulatory system simply we can say in one word mean circulatory system means transporting system transporting blood oxygen food water to other system this is circulatory system next we are going to see about the main parts of circulatory system the main parts of the circulatory system there are three main parts blood blood vessels heart these three we are going to see briefly uh, uh, briefly going down first blood next blood vessels next heart okay i think the, the three main parts you understood and again the main parts of our like uh, circulatory system are blood blood vessels and heart first we'll see about blood 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 is nothing but it is a red color red color fluid fluid mean liquid flows throughout the blood vessels we'll see about blood uh, blood vessels after blood blood is red in color and it is a liquid which flows over throughout the body that is blood okay now we'll see the functions of the blood see functions of the blood mean blood first point you see blood carries oxygen from the lungs transports it to different cells of the body first point you say is blood blood carries oxygen we are inhaling oxygen that goes to our lungs right that from the lungs the blood carries the oxygen and transport it to different cells different cells or different parts of the body that is first point second point you see one minute ah yes second point you see the blood uh also carries waste materials to the kidneys which then filters to the blood the small intestine digests the food and absorbs its nutrients these nutrients are provided to all parts of the body through blood one more point they are telling is from the kidney it purifies uh, the kidney purifies the blood and the small intestine you know the small intestine i think which helps to digest the food that part is called small intestine the small intestine absorbs the digested food and get nutrients right that nutrients it will uh, they want to separate to other parts uh, other parts okay for that blood helps the transporting nutrients of to other parts of the body also blood helps okay the third point you see the blood also protects the body from losing blood by forming blood clot at the place of injury this this occurs due to the blood vessel called platelets i'll tell that later the last point you see last point the blood contains substance that 
helps in regulating temperature. Even blood controls our temperature of the body. This is a very important thing. Note it. Okay, we saw the blood and the functions of blood. Now we'll see the components of the blood. Okay, components of the blood. There are four components of the blood. Uh, substances prevent in the components of blood mean the in the blood some uh, components are there. That all we are going to see. First one you see blood plasma. Blood plasma is nothing but the liquid substance in the blood. That's all. The liquid substance in the blood is called blood plasma. Liquid liquid substance or fluid substance in the blood is called blood plasma. That's all. Simple. Okay. And how much percentage in the blood? The blood plasma mean 55 percentage 55 of blood plasma in the blood okay so uh, it is uh, blood plasma is liquid or fluid in the blood and it is found 55 percent in the blood this is blood plasma and this is the first component first component of the blood second component second component is rbc which full form is red blood cells r BC. RBC full form is red blood cells. Okay. This is very important because red blood cells is our blood. I will tell you. Ah, yes. The red blood cells, they are present in uh, amount in the blood to 40 to 45 percentage. They are red in color because they contain a special pigment called hemoglobin. The oxygen we take, it binds itself with the hemoglobin and hence reach of the body throughout the blood. This is very important component of the blood because this helps in many ways carrying oxygen, carrying food, many ways it helps. First point you see, red blood cells that mean RBC is present in the blood for 40 percentage to 45 percentage. And the second point you see, it is red in color because red blood cells. So, R stands for red, right? So, it is red in color in the presence of hemoglobin. Like plants, plants, leaves are a presence of chlorophyll and our blood, our red, red blood cells are uh, special pigment have hemoglobin. And one more point, main point, it carries or it binds oxygen in the hemoglobin and carry to other parts of the body, okay. It carries, uh, it carries or binds the oxygen with the hemoglobin. With the hemoglobin is nothing but the red color pigment. With the hemoglobin, it reaches every cell of the body throughout the blood. It transports oxygen with the help of hemoglobin. Okay. Next component is white blood cells which is called WBC. WBC full form is white blood cells. Okay. White blood cells is nothing but it, uh, it fights against our body to protect germs. It uh, protects germs from... One minute. Ah. Uh, they are present in fewer amounts. Yes, it is present only one percentage in the blood, very less, right? Okay, and its functions we'll see about. These cells fight against germs present in the body. In our body, there will be many germs uh, uh, like that. So, it fights against it. It is white in color. It is very fewer in blood, almost one percentage. And it is it fight against the germs in our body. Simply we can say germs uh, present in the body, it fight against. Last component you see, blood platelets. This is very important. Uh, I'll tell you the story of this uh, platelets. Platelets is nothing but, I'll tell an example. If I am going and uh, suddenly I slip and fall down, the blood, the, it becomes injury and blood comes out. Uh, it, it will come out for few minutes and stop because of platelets because the platelets uh, prevents the blood clot form, form the blood clot and prevent the blood flowing out of the body if uh, more blood comes out of the body uh, we can't survive right 
so this blood uh, platelets helps to uh, form the blood clot and it won't leave many blood to come out of the body this is the use of blood platelets now we know the uh, components of the blood now we'll uh, go to the image of the components of the blood see here red blood cells image you can see it is red in color due to the presence of hemoglobin see the white blood cells very less amount only almost one percentage and it fight against germs okay this is white in color this is red in color these are plates platelets very tiny particles okay see the um, liquid uh, substance this is plasma blood vessels now we'll see down okay okay see blood vessels blood vessels are nothing but a kind of tubes which carry blood throughout our body simply we can say the going way of blood or uh, the kind of tubes which carry blood that's all there there are three types of blood vessels see here arteries veins and capillaries these are very important note it arteries veins and capillaries okay now we'll see about one by one arteries arteries is nothing but arteries are the blood vessels which carry blood from the heart to all parts of body one day oxygen it carries only oxygen i'll repeat again arteries mean nothing it is a blood vessel which carry blood it takes blood from the heart from our main part which uh, pure, which takes uh, which distributes blood that from the heart to other parts of the body only oxygenated blood okay only oxygenated blood rich in oxygen okay second one we'll see about veins veins is nothing but veins carry blood rich in carbon dioxide from all the cells of the body to the heart just opposite to artery arteries it carries oxygen from heart to body parts veins carry carbon dioxide from body parts to heart just opposite for artery it carry uh, artery carry oxygenated blood from heart to other parts veins carry uh, blood rich in carbon dioxide from body cells or body parts to heart now we know the difference between veins and arteries now we'll see about capillaries capillaries is nothing but it is a thin blood vessels which connect arteries and veins simply we can say the it connects arteries and veins to transport blood that's all okay now we'll see about pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein we'll see one by one pulmonary artery carries the oxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs pulmonary artery mean it carries it, ca it carries deoxygenated mean very few amount of oxygen in the blood in the blood it carries from uh, it carries from the right ventricle right ventricle is nothing but one of the uh, one name of the chamber in the heart from the right ventricle to the lungs from the heart to it goes to the lungs only deoxygenated blood not oxygenated blood only deoxygenated blood only less uh, oxygen it carries from right ventricle to left ventricle okay next we will see about pulmonary vein pulmonary vein or just opposite to pulmonary artery the pulmonary vein carries are uh, the veins that transfer oxygenated blood pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from lungs to heart here from heart to lungs here from lungs to heart just opposite to pulmonary artery okay now we know the pulmonary artery and vein now we'll see about the blood circulatory image this is a circumatic image i'll show you these are lungs the top image is lungs this is pulmonary artery this way is pulmonary artery this is pulmonary vein this is our heart which distributes blood to other parts this is vein this way is artery this is vein these are capillaries which connects artery and vein okay now we have seen the schematic diagram of uh, blood circulation now let's see about the uh, main part heart it is very important right okay we'll see about heart heart is an organ 
present in our body that pumps the blood in the blood vessels nothing the heart is an organ first point you see the heart is an organ it is in our body which pumps blood and distribute in in blood vessels it uh, pumps the blood and distribute to other parts of the body or other parts of the cells first point this is second point it is located in the chest cavity okay this is important point because we saw in respiration also this point uh, about lungs lungs and heart is located in the same place where in the chest cavity okay this is finished so third point you see in the chest cavity uh, lungs will be in the straight manner but the heart heart will be like slightly tilted towards the left it will be in the left side okay these are three points next point you see fourth point the heart is divided into four chambers i have told the one chamber that is right ventricle we'll see about the four chambers briefly down uh, the heart is divided into four chambers okay prevents oxygen rich blood from mixing with carbon dioxide rich blood it won't let oxygen oxygen mean o2 carbon dioxide means co2 ah it won't let to mix two bloods each together okay that is called there so the four chambers are there in the heart next the art atria or uh, upper chambers contains the blood with no oxygen atria is one of the chamber one of the name of the chamber of the heart and it contains no oxygen it contains deoxygenated which is carbon dioxide blood atria contains carbon dioxide blood this is the upper part of the chamber in upper part there are two atria is divided into two parts left atria and light uh, right atria that are two chambers now we'll see about the lower part the ventricles the lower part are the lower part of the chamber of the heart are ventricles ventricles are divided into two one is right ventricle left ventricle now you know the four chambers of the heart left atrium right atrium left ventricle and right ventricle this is the lower chamber of the heart and it is rich in oxygen rich blood it is oxygenated rich blood okay next next point you see the atria ventricles both are individually divided within themselves into two chambers uh, with the help of valves okay the, as i told right atria left atria right ventricle left ventricle they are telling it is divided into two uh, i told you that only they are this point they are telling it is divided into two chambers with the help of valves valves is a part which does not let the let the oxygenated and carbon dioxide blood mixed it won't leave them to mix together that is valves next point you see from left ventricle uh, the biggest artery of our body called aorta begins it is left ventricle is the lower part of the uh, heart there is a big artery called aorta begins there we'll see that aorta in later in future videos next the last point you see is uh, the right atrium of the body receives deoxygenated blood from the body through a vein called vena cava vena cava is the largest vein in a body right atrium is the upper part upper chamber of the heart it receives what deoxygenated blood only less oxygenated blood from the body from the body parts through the vein called that vein name is vena cava and the vena cava is the largest vein in the body cell okay we saw fully about uh, the heart now we have to see the structure sorry image of the heart this is the whole image of the heart see the vena cava the biggest vein in the heart and the aorta the biggest artery in the heart this is the uh, upper chamber right atrium this is left atrium this is right ventricle this is left ventricle these are the parts of a uh, heart that's all for today we saw in this video about the transportation or the blood circulatory system uh, of humans that's all for today thank you if you like this video share like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you take care bye bye